Hello friends and thank you for coming back again today. Romans chapter 9 verse 5 says, Messiah, who is God over all, forever praised. Amen. Now today I'm going to conclude our short series looking at uh, questions that some people ask about Christianity, some of the doubts that they have. And today I want to think about the fact that some people say that Jesus Christ never existed. Now Josephus, who was one of the most well-known and well-respected Jewish historians, is attributed as writing this. He wrote, Now, there was about this time Jesus, a wise man, if it be lawful to call him a man, for he was a doer of wonderful works, a teacher of such men as received the truth with pleasure. He drew over to him both many of the Jews and many of the Gentiles. He was the Christ, and when Pilate, at the suggestion of the principal men amongst us, had condemned him to the cross, those that loved him at the first did not forsake him, for he appeared to them alive again the third day, as the divine prophets had foretold these and ten thousand other wonderful things concerning him. And the tribe of Christians, so named from him, are not extinct at this date. Now that piece by Josephus was written during the first century and it's highly likely that there were people living who remembered Jesus and maybe even saw him. And it's worth noting that while sceptics may choose to reject the Bible's moral message, they cannot deny its historical accuracy. Over 25,000 archaeological finds demonstrate that the people, the places and the events mentioned in the Bible are real and accurately described. No archaeological finding, finding has ever refuted the Bible. In fact, the descriptions in the Bible have often led archaeologists to amazing discoveries. And the non-Christian journalist Geoffrey Shaler, author of the book Is the Bible True, concluded, in extraordinary ways, modern archaeology is affirming the historical core of the Old and New Testaments, supporting key portions of crucial biblical stories. So you see, we can trust the Bible. So let's reaffirm our faith and love for Jesus, our Saviour today. And so why don't you, if you get some spare time, do some research into archaeological finds that back up the Bible's accounts and stories. Thank God for his, that his word can be trusted and that Jesus really died to ensure your salvation. Let's pray. The special prayer for this week. Creator God, you made us all in your image. May we discern you in all that we see and serve you in all that we do. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's finish by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.